a young bride packing for her honeymoon. What happens to her now may be all in the mind, a figment of her imagination. Or she may be in very real danger. Either way, there will be madness and murder and fear in the night. Mrs. Beamish tells me you haven't been very well lately. You had a nervous breakdown. Well, that was about six months ago. These things take a long time to sort out. He was waiting for me, Bob, like he was before. Fetch the doctor. No, God, please. Bob, I was attacked. I was. You don't believe me, do you? I believe you think you were attacked. A honeymoon at a quiet school in the country. A school without pupils. Just deserted halls. Empty rooms. And fear in the night. Sorry if I frightened you. Forgive me for being personal, but you do seem terribly young. I mean, almost like a child bride. I'm 22. Oh. I'm sure that Robert needs you as much as we need Robert. Peg? What are you doing out of bed? Oh, I couldn't sleep. It must be the champagne. I keep thinking I can see someone. Well, where? Over there, by the window. I can't see a thing. Hello? You could get your head blown off creeping around like that. Good evening, Robert. I've been waiting here to welcome you. I hope that gun isn't loaded. If it went off, it would wake the boys. Why not come down into the hall and talk things over quietly? But I am in the hall. 